Assalamu alaikum. May peace be upon all of you. Good evening. My name is Aram Shakir, and I am the chair of the East Brunswick Human Relations Council. I'd like to welcome you all to our fourth annual Ramadan lighting to commemorate this holy month. I would like to first thank, start by thanking Allah, and I would also now like to thank the township, more specifically Mayor Brad Cohen, for helping the Muslim community make it possible to have the lighting ceremony. So please give them a round of applause. I'd like to also thank the Board of Education, who unfortunately were not able to make it today, for helping us get Eid off this year, not one, but two days, so please thank them. We're gathered here to celebrate the month of Ramadan. The reason this month is important to us Muslims is because this is the month that the Holy Quran was revealed to us. When this month comes along, some people are overjoyed by the amount of blessings we can have, but some may find it difficult. The thing is, 11 months out of the year, we get stuck doing the mundane. We work, shop, eat, go to school, work out, relax, go on vacation. Overall, we get stuck into everyday things and lose focus on why we're here. However, this one month is a big reset button that helps us recalibrate to make us better Muslims year after year. It helps remind us that God created us to worship him and be grateful for our blessings. And when I mean worship him, it's not just by putting our head down in worship or reading the Quran. It's by acting in a way that pleases him, which includes smiling at your neighbors, feeding and caring the sick, the poor, the hungry, and the orphan, being at service to your community, practicing patience and being tolerant towards others, caring for your family, the list goes on and on. I feel extremely grateful that a holiday that's so meaningful to all of us is being recognized, honored, and celebrate it in our hometown of East Brunswick. However, this year Ramadan will be a little different and maybe difficult for some of us. It doesn't feel like the Ramadan spirit is in the air. It feels very different when Ramadan is approaching and you want to get into the spirit and celebrate, but every single day you're also witnessing a tragedy where the images and videos only get worse and it's hard to unsee and remove the impact it has having on us. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, the Muslim community and or Oma is like one body. When one, when one part of the body is in pain, the whole body feels the pain. So it's a legitimate sentiment to find it hard to celebrate this month with the excitement that we usually have. So let's try to keep them all in our prayers and count our blessings and give thanks to Allah for what we have. We should thank Allah for every limb that we have. We should thank Him for our children and that we get to see them every morning and feed them and send them to school. We get to thank him for still having our parents in our lives. We should thank him because even though we'll fast all day, we at least know where is food and water at the end of the day. We should thank him for giving us the opportunity to learn and read the Quran. We should thank him for giving us the opportunity to fast. We should also thank him for living safely here in East Brunswick, New Jersey. Because there are many places in the world where they don't have these blessings. The East Brunswick Township would like to wish our Muslim brothers and sisters a very blessed and peaceful Ramadan. May bless, may Allah bless us all. Ameen. I'd like to now call upon Mayor Cohen. Salaamu Alaikum. Thank you, Aram. It, uh, those were kind words, and uh, I, I am very, very proud of the fact that this is the fourth year that we are uh, in the township able to celebrate Ramadan with our Muslim neighbors. It is uh, also to be noted that I believe we were the second town in all of New Jersey to do that. So I think that that should be recognized and appreciated because it's coming along, but we were there first. I do want to wish everybody a very um, successful and meaningful Ramadan. I understand that it's a time of introspection, a time of self-sacrifice an opportunity to understand and feel what it's like uh, to sometimes be unable to, to eat or to be having to suffer uh, because there's people in the world, around the world that are doing that and it's our obligation, all of us, not only Muslims, but all of us, to do our part to make sure that we make sure that life is fair for everybody and that everyone has an opportunity. So this is a, a, a month to do that. As a township, we are extraordinarily proud of the fact that we celebrate our diversity. We know for sure that people move here, number one reason has always been our schools, but there always used to be sort of a hodgepodge of number two. Some 
People would claim that it's the location of the town. Other people would say it's our safety. Um, diversity was always mentioned, but actually over the last couple of years, diversity has actually taken a, a, a solid number two seat after schools. And I think that that's something that we should all be extraordinarily proud of. And diversity is more than just looking at a spreadsheet that tells you how many people come from each ethnic group, each religious group. It actually really shows meaning when we not only recognize the numbers, but they all feel that there's part of being this community. Whether that's being individuals who we put on boards and commissions, individuals who are employed in the township, the, the, the fact is that, that everybody has an opportunity to learn one another and we get better and we grow because of that. This year, for instance, we just had the opportunity uh, to bring on a couple of new police officers, both because we added officers and because we had some retirees. And I have to tell you, it's a very different world right now because there wasn't a lot of people uh, that were applying. Of about 120 people that applied for the five open spots, um, we uh, 20 didn't even show up for uh, the, the first set of uh, exams, which is a physical exam. Those that did, only 50% passed. Of the 50% that passed, only 50% of that passed the written exam. And so we're very, very picky in who we pick to represent our police and to provide the safety that everybody here is entitled to. Of the people that were left, we were down to about uh, 20 people. The town was very specific and narrowed it finally down to five people. One of those five people is at the academy right now. Uh, his name is Shahid Zaki. And to my knowledge, since we really don't keep records on religion, he will be the first police officer in the township of East Brunswick who is Muslim. So when all of those officers get back from training, it's a six month training down in Cape May, there will be an opportunity for them to be um, uh, recognized publicly. That will go out to the public and I hope that you can all attend. But that's what we mean when we talk about having people in our township, whether they work for us, whether they're on committees, that a true definition of diversity is not what's on paper, but the fact that we all work together and we're one community. That's what I wish for all of us in the year to come. I do also want to mention that we have here today with us our council vice president, Kevin McAvoy. President. House and president, sorry. Council Vice President is here too, Dana Zinvicki, and Councilman Dinesh Bahal. So on behalf of the Township, may you have a meaningful, whole, truly meaningful Ramadan. Thank you so much, Mayor Brad Cohen, for those beautiful words. I'd like to now invite Tahir Jadun, who is the Shura President at ICED. Thank you, Iran. Thanks for inviting me and thanks. Assalamu alaikum and good evening. And I would like to thank you very much for all that you all came out in this cold uh, weather, windy weather. Thanks. Uh, I would like to, it's a pleasure to be here tonight in the, in the gathering to celebrate the beginning of the Ramadan. But before I go forward, I would like to thank the mayor, the council, uh, uh, East Pontiac council members, and organizations who have arranged this event and uh, especially the interfaith clergy uh, for those who have combined effort and we are here to celebrate this tonight. Uh, as we come together to the witness this lighting of the beautiful Ramadan sign, let us uh, take a moment to reflect on the, the significance of this holy month. As uh, Iram has already mentioned, uh, I will just need to add in that that uh, uh, this month, Ramadan, is the ninth month in the Islamic calendar. And uh, we go with a lunar sighting. So this Ramadan month rotates throughout the year. So you will keep on, it's not to remain the same season. So it's keep on rotating. And during the Ramadan, the Muslims around the world observe fasting and uh, prayers and acts of charity as they seek spiritual growth. 
So it is very important to understand that we have a spiritual uh, relationship with this month of Ramadan. Otherwise, you may have seen the word uh, intermittent fasting or something like that. That word is, for, uh, if you see and read on the internet, they say it helps you for the for your body. But in order to spiritual connection with your God, with Allah, that is the uh, the month of Ramadan gives the, uh, that uh, opportunity. It's a time of reflection and connection, not only with the faith and also but also with the broader community. When you have the fasting feeling, then you can think about your neighbors and everyone that you have us. Tonight, as we illuminate the sign, let us also shine a light on the importance of the standing in a solidarity with the facing challenge and the hardships. Yes, most of you are right that what we are talking about, our as, um, uh, as uh, Iram has mentioned, as a Ummah, we are one body and our one of the limb today is in pain. And I'm talking about the Palestine and the Gaza and the people in that area who are suffering. And uh, may Allah guide them, uh, help them and uh, or remove their hardships. Our hearts go to the all those affected by the conflict and advers adversity and pray for the peace, justice and healing, whatever it is needed, especially for the people of Palestine, Gaza and affected area of that all, uh, whoever suffered. Well, our prayers is for everyone. So you know, we all pray, you all are requested to pray that all those who are suffering around the world uh, may Allah Ta'ala uh, liberate their suffering. In East Brunswick, we are committed, as the mayor said, in East Brunswick, we are committed to the fostering a community of inclusivity, diversity, and compassion. Regardless of our backgrounds or beliefs, we stand united in our shared humanity and our desire to create a better world for ourselves and our next coming children. As we embark with a month long uh, journey of the spiritual reflection and generosity, let us re uh, recommit ourselves to the values of the compassion, understanding and the peace. And together we can make this positive difference in, lives, uh, in the lives of the others and build a more harmonious and compassionate uh, community. At the end, I would like to thank you very much again and happy Ramadan and inshallah we will be having, as most of you know, that we have Islamic Center of East Brunswick is about to, inshallah, complete and open. So you all are welcome to visit Islamic Center of East Brunswick and learn more about the Islam and the uh, Muslims. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much, Tahir Jadoon. I'd like to now call upon Dr. Shakir, who I have no relation to, by the way, we just say the same, uh, similar last name, um, from Dawood Pura Mosque on Denham's Corner Road. Thank you. Thank you, Yaram. Uh, as Yaram mentioned, no relation, but it is a, a name that means thanks, right? It means shukr. So we thank during this month of Ramadan, and I'm thankful to be here in East Brunswick today, uh, and I appreciate the opportunity to speak. As a board member of the Dawoodi Dawoodi Bora Muslim community, I stand before you today with immense gratitude, as I said, and appreciation for the recognition of Ramadan within our vibrant town of East Brunswick. For over two decades, our community has called the city our home with our mosque here on Dunham's Corner Road, and today we are deeply moved by the township's deep appreciation and decision to recognize this sacred month of peace worship and prayer. We would like to specifically thank Mayor Cohen, the other assemblymen that are here today, the council members, Iram Shakir and, uh, of the Human Relations Council and other members of the Township Council for championing in, uh, diversity in our township which now proudly hosts at least more than uh, I would say 20 houses of worship, all of whom are brought together by committees like the Interfaith Council. Ramadan has been said previously is a time of fasting, reflection and spiritual rejuvenation. It holds profound significance for Muslims worldwide, including our community, the Dawoodi Boras. In this time, we are forced to remember what unites us and what is recognized as our collective humanity, not just across the Muslim community, but across all faiths. In a world often marked by division, your decision to recognize Ramadan speaks volumes about the values of tolerance, understanding, and harmony that define our community. It demonstrates your commitment 
to embracing the richness of our cultural tapestry and fostering an environment where every individual feels valued and respected. Once again, on behalf of the Dawoodi Bora Muslim community, I extend our heartfelt thanks to each and every one of our Muslim brothers and sisters. Your gesture again today serves as a beacon of hope and solidarity, reminding us together that we can build a more inclusive and compassionate society for us and for our children here gathered today. Thank you again, Mayor Cohen, for your unwavering support and for embracing the spirit of Ramadan with open hearts and minds. Uh, to all of you here today, may the season of blessings bring you joy, peace, and prosperity. Salaamu Alaikum. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Uh, Shakir, for those kind words. Now I'd like to invite somebody from East Brunswick High School. So we started the MSA about 20 years ago, um, and today we have the co-president. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Hassan Sain. Uh, I'm one of the co-presidents at the East Brunswick Muslim Student Association at the high school. Alhamdulillah, we have been doing great. Um, we've been able to host many successful events that allowed our Muslim community to grow and prosper in numerous ways. We held a speaker and collaborative events with other MSAs from different towns across New Jersey, uh, including New Brunswick, Piscataway, Sayerbo, and we're currently planning on an event for Iftar, inshallah, during Ramadan. Uh, we had Sister Nusrat come to, our, to come to one of our meetings and uh, speak to us. Uh, EPMSA has had a wide success this year, bringing in new Muslim students to our club, and even some non-Muslim students who have been showing up consistently by the grace of Allah. And we plan on expanding the numbers in the coming years, inshallah. Our biggest goal this coming Ramadan is to work on inclusivity and growing our Muslim community. Just last weekend, we attended MIST, an interscholastic tournament with other Muslim schools and MSAs in New Jersey, which had over 700 participants, and 35 of those participants were from East Brunswick, which compared to last year, there was only six. So Alhamdulillah, we've grown a lot. Another thing I would like to mention is how because of the dedication many students felt for the Muslim representation, we were able to get Eid off for the first time ever. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I want to thank the Board of Education and all the families and individuals who supported and helped us reach this milestone. And I want to end off by letting us remember that Ramadan is a month of adhkar. There's a hadith where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Utkru Allah kathiran hatta yakul majnoon. Remember Allah to the point that they call you crazy. And inshallah we spend most of our time in Ramadan remembering Allah, thanking Allah for the community that we have in East Brunswick. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you so much, Hassan, for those words. Um, I'd like to now invite our guest speaker, Sami Karabek, Executive Director at NBIC, New Brunswick Islamic Center. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you all. Indeed, it's a great honor to be with you all here this evening. Uh, we thank the township uh, for once again uh, recognizing the Muslim community in the month of Ramadan that is upon us. In addition to what is was just said, I'd just like to share with you an additional aspect of the month of Ramadan. We're told in the Holy Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Ya yuhal ladheena amanu taqqa, Ya yuhal ladheena amanu qutiba alaykum usiyam, kama qutiba ala ladheena min qablikum la'allakum tattakoon. Sadaqallah al-Azim. O you who believe fasting has been prescribed for you as it was prescribed by those, for those before you. All faith traditions share in this worship of fasting. They all share in a time where there is a sense of restraint on their normal activities in life to do what? 
to feed one's spirit, to become more conscious of the creator of the world. So through restraint, you spiritually grow. And so this is one aspect of Ramadan we can use as all faith communities, is to embrace that idea of restraint. Restraint of what? Restraint of those things which are in the recesses of the human condition, which represent the darkness of the human condition. Anger, hatred, arrogance, stinginess, all of these things to restrain. As we restrain ourselves from eating and drinking, we're also instructed to restrain ourselves from those ugly characteristics that reside within all of us. And to fill it with what? Love, compassion, generosity, kindness. Restraint of those dark facets, those dark elements. We see what happens in the world today and we're seeing it day in and day out in all parts of the world, in all places of power. What happens when there's no restraint? What happens when we live our lives pursuant to hatred, pursuant to arrogance, pursuant to anger, and we respond in those ways? The ugliness we see in the world. So let us use this month of Ramadan as we restrain ourselves from food and drink that we work toward restraining within ourselves those aspects that we can try to then permeate in society at large and then hopefully rise up into other areas, into areas of power. That restraint, restraint is what we should be striving for. And that is the way we can fill ourselves with love, kindness, generosity, compassion, understanding. We ask God to bless us in this month of Ramadan, to bless this township, to bless the United States of America in this coming month and this coming year. We thank again the township for doing this and for allowing for the Muslim community to celebrate and commemorate their month. God bless you all. May you have a blessed and happy Ramadan. Thank you so much, Sammy, for those inspiring and reflective words. Um, this event would not have been possible without a few people that I want to mention. I know it's cold, so I'll be very, very quick. East Brunswick Mayor Brad Cohen. East Brunswick Council President Kevin McAvoy. East Brunswick Council Vice President Dana Zambicki. East Brunswick Council Member Dinesh Behal. East Brunswick Economic Development Officer Robert Zuckerman. And all of our wonderful guest speakers, Dr. Shakir from Dawood Bora Mosque, Hudson Sayan, uh, co-president of East Brunswick High School MSA, guest speaker, Sami Karvik, executive director at NBAC, Tahir Jadun Shur, president of ICEB, most importantly, East Brunswick Recreation. So please give it up for John Roche, Will Kehoe, and Michael Gusta. And all those refreshments were served by my amazing group of volunteers. Please give it up for Maria, Yasna, there's two Anjums, Rizwana, Farhana, Nancy, Abida, Fatima, and Imran for the tea. Uh, the lights are going to be turning on in just a few seconds. We'd like to welcome all the kids to come up so that they can light it up with the mayor. The lights will remain on for the next 30 days from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. So after prayers, after iftar, please come and take lots of pictures. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Thank you guys so much for coming every year. We'll see you next year. Thank you.